hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you are all well so i am finally back from my trip i cannot even describe it to you guys how bad i missed filming how much i missed being home i got so homesick um on my trip uh not that i didn't have fun but i'm just a creature of habit and i missed like being in my bed driving my car going to get like coffee like little things like that um I'm used to like a whole routine and obviously when you're traveling it's like a whole other routine and I love traveling don't get me wrong um but it's just always nice to come back home so I got a little homesick and I missed my dad and you know how it is so that happened um yeah I actually was gonna do a whole separate video um just getting ready like chit chatting about my whole traveling experience how everything was and whatnot stuff like that so I was gonna save that for another day just because I just wanted to do a casual little video today and my past videos have all been makeup application so I wanted to do something where I'm sitting down and talking to you guys also and we're not doing just like makeup application makeup application over and over again so of course there'll be a lot of those um coming up like i said i'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to my travel experience and how everything went and i also did vlog on my phone because i did not bring my camera but um i brought my i was looking through the clips yesterday and i realized because i was recording it off my phone this way like this way um, I ended up having it all show up on iMovie as vertical clips so it does not fill up the whole screen so now I'm unsure if I should even upload the whole thing but that's like 20 minutes worth of clips so I really want to anyways I just don't know if that would be annoying to watch because it's like vertical and I didn't know to record this way instead of this way so that's an arrow on my end but I think I might upload it anyways and hopefully you guys will watch it. So let's just go ahead and get started with the actual video, which is my current makeup favorites, beauty favorites in general. So I hope you guys enjoy and please keep watching. Okay, so my first makeup favorite, these are going to be in no particular order by the way. So my first um, favorite is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. This is the infamous uh, Estee Lauder foundation. I took this on my trip with me along another foundation, but I found myself reaching for this a lot more. Um, and I just have to say for days where I wanted my makeup to look good on camera or just wanted to look full coverage in general if I was going somewhere, this came in so clutch. I love this foundation so much. I'm so glad I took it with me. So you guys know my favorite full coverage foundation is probably the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless one. But I have to say this one I think I like better and I was shocked by that because um, this I think is supposed to be more on the matter drier finish side and I so is the Charlotte Tilbury one but I feel like a lot of formulations come down to how you prep your face so I use like hydrating primers and hydrating skincare products so I feel like that helps a lot anyways but anyways you guys I wore this to a wedding i wore it every time i wanted full coverage and this was so good so i'm just gonna read you guys a little bit of the details written here on sephora so this says it's a 24 hour liquid foundation with a flawless natural matte finish that unifies uneven skin tone and covers imperfections with buildable coverage and the coverage of this is full finish matte and it is available in over 55 shades and the cost of this is $58. And just for reference, I am in the shade 1W2 Sand. I have gotten a little bit of a tan whilst being away, but I still feel like I can make this work. And I have a wedding coming up this month, and I think I will most likely 90% be wearing this foundation. So yeah, if you're looking for a good full coverage foundation, this is amazing. It looks amazing in photos too. Okay, next product is a product I have mentioned here on this channel before, um, and that is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This says it uh, provides ultimate glow. So you guys know I have used this in the past as primer. I've mixed it in with my foundations. I recently saw on Instagram under 
a content creator named Rose and Ben that she used this under her eyes as eye cream, eye primer before makeup application and it did so well that that is what I took it on my trip for and I found it was so good. I just feel like this is such an amazing multi-use product like you can use it for makeup, you can use it as skincare, you can use it like mixed in with your foundation, you can use it as a primer. I just feel like it does a bunch of stuff and if you're someone who's really into looking super glowy this is amazing. I came back on Thursday and I'm still a little jet lagged and my skin is so dry. I put on makeup for the first time today and I realized that I cannot film my, like get ready with me because my foundation looks so dry in this area so I've been trying to give my skin a little TLC and like trying to use hydrating masks but I obviously know I have to just keep doing that kind of stuff in order for it to get back to normal and my normal is dry right now it's just really dry I used so much hydrating products today and I'm still so like dry and gross in this area it's just not nice I'm not even gonna show you guys because this is why I'm filming this video. It's so far away, you cannot tell. So yeah, it just does not look, it looks really textured in this area and it's like showing texture that I don't even have. So yeah. But anyways, uh, getting back to the product, I'm so sorry I went off topic there. Uh, this was so helpful to use there. I just found it was so good in adding a glow, adding hydration, and I loved it so much. So I'm going to read a little bit off support for this. This says it is a breakthrough multi-use highlighting serum that hydrates and visibly reduces the look of hyperpigmentation for a dewy reflective glow without mica, glitter, or gray cast. And this is for all skin types. You can use this no matter what kind of skin type you have. And it targets dryness and dullness. And yeah, it is amazing. This retails for $45 and I think that is worth it. You guys, I'm on my second bottle. I bought one before going just so I can take the full one with me because I would not have been happy if this ran out while I was away. So yeah, if that doesn't show you how much I like this, then I don't know what does, but this is amazing. So next is the Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer. You guys, I have been loving this so much. I also brought this with me on my trip and my sister used it, I think, on one or two occasions. And the main reason why I love this so much is that it helps with creasing under the eyes, especially if you find that over the course of the day your concealer starts to crease. Mine sometimes does, so I thought this would come in so handy and it definitely did. Um, on days that I forgot to apply this, I feel like my concealer didn't look as nice, so I would get angry at myself for forgetting. This is also a eyeshadow primer, but I have not used it as that because you guys know the only thing I will use an, as an eyeshadow primer is concealer because my eyelids are so dark so I cannot just use this and call it a day like it just wouldn't work like that but I love this so much and this is so worth it. Reading a little bit about this it says it's an invisible hydrating primer for eyeshadow and under eye concealer that smooths skin and locks down color to prevent creasing, fading, and smudging. This also did help a lot with the longevity of my concealer as well in case I didn't mention that. I don't think I did and um yeah, this is just amazing, you guys. This sells for $32 and it is worth it. If you're someone who deals with creasing, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Okay, the next product you guys are going to find to be a little bizarre, but this is something that I always thought would be super nice to achieve in a makeup look. I always thought something like this would look so nice um, on everybody, like just universally. And, you know, with the whole clean girl makeup aesthetic, I feel like... This fits in perfectly with that. I always used to think that glossy eyelids are such a look. I thought it was so nice to just have like a little bit of glow on your eyelids and not necessarily use like product, like not using like a highlight or something, just a clear gloss. This is the Makeup by Mario, the Master Secret Glow. This is sold as a highlighter and this is in the shade Expensive. And this is so good. You guys are going to think this is the stupidest thing because it literally is just a clear balm. You guys, I'm, when I tell you, this is amazing. And I feel like if you just like simple makeup and you just like giving your makeup a little boost and making it look like you just did something when you didn't, this is amazing. So I'm going to apply this on camera just so you guys can see. Um... I love this so much so I just want to demonstrate what it looks like on I personally like a glossy eye look 
But if you're someone that has oily eyelids, um, you already have this built into your body, so you don't need it. But I, I wish I had oily eyelids. I don't. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take this. Usually, I take this on a brush, but I don't have one near me. So I'm going to go ahead and just use our fingers. And I'm just going to pat it on my lid just ever so slightly. Okay, so I have you guys zoomed in so you guys can see I did one eye. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same to the other eye. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see what like what I did there, if it's like even showing up on camera, but oh my god, you guys, I love how simple this is, but I feel like it just does something, like it just gives me life. I don't even know why, maybe I'm just thinking that and it's in my head, but I just love a glossy lid. Like, it just looks so nice. I feel like this looks good on its own or layered on top of other products. It's just amazing. So, this says on Sephora that it is a translucent balm that gives a dewy glass glow for the eyes and face in a nourishing emollient formula. And yeah, it says you can apply this um, as a final makeup touch. You can apply it to, like, achieve a gloss. Um glass-like effect or whatever and this is $29 now you guys I know you might think that this is essentially like Vaseline or something uh, and or like you can use like a lip gloss to achieve the same thing the only reason why I'm scared to do something like that is because I deal with milia in and around my eyes and I know Vaseline could probably give me a similar look but I will just get milia all over my lids and that is something I don't want right now because my milia is acting up like crazy ever since I've been gone so I'm not about to go and give myself more and lip gloss I have used before and I have had it result in stinging so I don't recommend that. I think you should be really careful with what you apply onto your eyes. So I personally like this because it is something that is okay to use on the eyes, but if you find something that works for you that achieves the same look that isn't this, then like you do you boo. I'm glad you glad you found something because I couldn't. But anyways, I love this. <laughs> okay, next two products are skincare and these are masks and these are products I wish I had brought with me, but I didn't because I am stupid sometimes. So you guys, when I went traveling, people were impressed at the things I brought. Like I brought things that were so thoughtful, like a lint roller, but I didn't bring things like I needed, like my certain skincare or like my EpiPen. Cause I'm so smart, literally. Just like thought of one thing, but didn't think of the other, I don't know. Anyways, I wish I brought these with me and I have been using these interchangeably um, since I've been back. The first day I came back, this was the mask I used, and this is the Body Shop um, Japanese Matcha Tea Mask. This is for pollution clearing, and I got the mini size as like a free gift with purchase, but I will definitely, definitely, definitely be purchasing the full size of this because it is amazing. On the website here, it says that it helps remove the buildup of everyday impurities, pollution, and grime, leaves your skin feeling refreshed and relaxed, and it's enriched with matcha green tea and aloe vera from Mexico. So when I got off the plane, my skin felt so gross because we flew 11, almost 12 hour flight back to Vancouver and the flight left my skin feeling so crappy. The full size of this retails for $28, which I think is pretty good. It's really inexpensive compared to like Sephora prices for sure. And I believe this size, I don't think you can purchase it. Oh, you know what? You can purchase this site. This is 15 mil and this sells for $6. So I think I got this for free when I bought the next mask I'm going to show you guys, which is the uh, British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. Now this, you guys, I love this so much. Um, this is just amazing. If you're a dry skin girl like me, this is what it looks like. Uh, maybe not do that because it will like spill over and I will have to clean this off my floors which I won't be able to. This is so good if you're dry skin or if you just feel like your skin needs a little plumping pick me up. Um, I love to use hydrating masks before events, before like I need my makeup to look the best it possibly does or just when I'm having a dry skin fit like I am right now. I just feel like if you're dry prepping with hydrating products is just like your best bet to making your makeup look flawless and I will be using this religiously because my skin is so dry. I did a hydrating mask this morning and I think after I am done wiping this makeup off I'm going to use this too 
because I need it like makeup is just not sitting on me you guys and I need my skin to look good for my upcoming events so this is amazing so this says on the website that it revitalizes your bloom with the richly moisturizing queen of quenchers botanically inspired face mask and it says here that it is a refreshing gel face mask that moisturizes, soothes, and tones skin. Um, it is perfect for facial at home and it's infused with real rose petals, rose essence from Britain, rose hip oil from Chile, and community fair trade aloe vera from Mexico. I like that they get their products or they source their products from other countries. I really like that. So um, yeah, that's amazing. And the body shop is super sustainable and super clean. So if you're in the market for really good masks, they have a whole collection. Um, I've tried another one of theirs too. I believe it's like a clay one and that one's really good. It's super cooling and I love the Body Shop's um, skincare products. So yeah, definitely check them out. They're less expensive than Sephora and other stuff like that. So yeah, check these out. These were amazing or not were, they are amazing. They are amazing. <laughs> Okay, so the next products should not surprise you guys at all because I had a whole video dedicated to these line of products and that is the She Glam um, Color Bloom Liquid Blushes. So these are the four that I own and you guys know how I feel about these blushes. They're possibly my favorite, if not one of my favorite products from the whole She Glam line. These are, these are amazing. I recommend these to anybody who asks me to recommend a blush blush these are amazing i love cream blushes so much and these are the best cream blushes i have ever used bought experienced like they are amazing and the best part is you guys these are so affordable they're so easy to apply they're easy to work with they're super blendable and they come in so many different shades like you just cannot get better than that these are amazing so these retail for 4.99 like i said super inexpensive and it says here on the She Glam website that they are like a drink for your cheeks, um, adds a bloom of beautiful color and has nourishing ingredients like vitamin C and it's a gel cream formula and the sponge tip infuses color effortless, effort, effortlessly into your skin for a plumping and oh so pretty effect. These are amazing, they're super long wearing. I always had an issue with blush being the first thing that disappeared on my face and I can easily say that does not happen with these. I don't know how much more to hype this up, you guys. If you are able to try these out and get these, then get them. They're so freaking good. Okay, the next product is a product that I am so crazy about, and you guys know this. It should not come as a surprise to you guys. Um, if you guys are into setting sprays, which I honestly thought everyone was, but I've been catching up on my YouTube like subscription, like stuff that I haven't watched. I'm like 40 videos, over 40 videos. Um, behind on my YouTube subscriptions and I'm noticing a lot of people don't like setting sprays and I find that so bizarre because I feel like if I don't have a setting spray on my face my makeup just won't be anywhere maybe that's what these brand owners are like doing to make you think that if you don't use it your makeup's not gonna last like I honestly swear by setting sprays I just feel like they add so much to your look I freaking love setting sprays and I'm always like down to try setting sprays but this is hands down my favorite one this is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray and this is stay all day party all night that's what it says on here i don't party i'm boring and this is amazing you guys look <laughs> i took this with me too and i used to always use this so sparingly because it's not cheap and i don't think there's any reason for me to use something that's so like good at holding makeup every day because i don't need my makeup to stay in place every day like i have other setting sprays i can use for day to day so this is like my special occasion one, but I thought it was completely fitting to take it with me and I don't regret it at all. I will definitely repurchase this. This is so freaking good. I find that this just is perfect because this sets your makeup and your makeup does not go anywhere, but at the same time, it doesn't add to any terms of like adding more glow or making you look matte. It just makes your makeup stay on longer. It just extends the wear of it and I love it so much. Also, blending this in with your foundation is like an extra bulletproof layer and I feel like if I didn't have this with me, my makeup would have melted when I was away because everywhere was so hot and humid. I feel like I was shocked even though I knew how good this stuff is at how well my makeup stayed on. Like, I was shocked, you guys. So I definitely recommend this. I don't know if I've sold you guys on this already, but please try this. You can get many sizes of it. 
this is amazing like amazing 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 so on the sephora website this says that it's a hydrating alcohol and oil free spray that weightlessly sets makeup for up to 16 hours without melting fading or settling into fine lines and this says that it has a strong but flexible a breathable film across the skin to keep makeup in place and it supports the natural moisture barrier for soft hydrated skin it's supposed to also blur the appearance of pores which i haven't noticed i'm not going to sit and say that it's done that i haven't paid attention to that because i don't necessarily use this for that purpose but yeah you guys i love this so much the full size of this which is the one i am holding here is 42 dollars, and i know that's a very very expensive price for something that looks like a bottle of water but you guys this is so worth it it is so amazing weddings parties like i don't know graduation um I don't know what else do people need their makeup to stay on for. This is amazing. Like, it is so amazing. And when we were dealing with masks, I found this to be the least transfer resistant. So, or I found this to be the best with um, not transferring onto my mask. That's what I meant to say. I can't even talk. Anyways, yeah, this is amazing, you guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> okay, I cannot make a like favorites video without mentioning my favorite makeup product ever like in general my favorite makeup step to do is concealer which you guys should know by now if you don't then i'm disappointed because my concealer collection is like i'm just looking at it now and i'm like mm -hmm. okay yesterday i had to move it over somewhere else because where it was was exploding so if that doesn't tell you how much i have then i don't know what will but i will never stop buying concealer because i have a problem and i am fully admitting of that Anyways, this is the Hourglass Vanish Concealers. I have these in two shades. I have the shades Oat and Fawn, and I feel like uh, Fawn is more up my alley now that I am a little bit more tanned, and I feel like I'll apply a little bit of Oat if I need a little bit of highlighting, but overall, I felt like I used this more. I also took this traveling with me. I so this says on the Sephora website that it's a full coverage, weightless, and waterproof concealer with micro spherical powders that blurs and brightens for up to 16 hours of skin perfection. This is full coverage and it says that it is crease resistant, light reflecting liquid concealer, blends seamlessly into skin and diffuses the look of pores on fine lines. Again, I never believe these claims with concealers because I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff when I'm applying it. Um, also, in terms of it being crease resistant, if you have lines under your eyes, it's very rare for something to not go into those lines and I do not let that decide if a concealer is good or bad because I have lines under my eyes of course things are going to crease I just make sure I prep and prime and set them really well so um yeah I don't use that as a deciding factor of if the concealer is good or not but yeah this is just a freaking amazing you guys um I love this so much this is amazing it is amazing 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 i cannot sing enough praises this is 46 dollars, so i know it's a little expensive hourglass is a little bit more on the luxury side so the products are a little bit more pricey but i'm very like happy i tried this and i have not even tried their foundation and uh, their other products but like this is so good to think i tried a product of theirs a few years ago and i didn't like it and i'm like i'm never buying any hourglass <laughs> I obviously wasn't thinking that, but I was just like so turned off from the brand because I was like, no, how are you going to be like $70 and not do good? Like, I was like, no, how? How are you going to do that? So I have to admit that Hourglass definitely redeemed themselves when they came out with these concealers. These are amazing. Okay, and my last, uh, my next and final product is also a concealer, which don't be surprised that I have more than one because I'm uh, crazy. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. Now, you guys, if you are looking for a hydrating concealer, look no more. These concealers are amazing. I love them so much. I discovered these, obviously, before the Hourglass ones. I also took these with me and I used them interchangeably so one day I'd use this one day I'd use that sometimes I'd mix them and I find that it was actually really good mixed together um this is super hydrating it's just really good if your under eyes are dry and you're looking to use something that's not going to make them look more dry and cakey so on the Sephora website this says that it is a 24-hour multi-purpose full coverage creamy concealer that corrects and hides under eye circles redness blemishes and imperfections i've only used these to target under eye circles so i cannot attest to the rest of the claims that it has um 
This says that it has wild pansy, which visibly smooths and moisturizes the complexion. And yeah, this says that it is skincare, uh, skincare loving formula, and it's supposed to be really good in terms of hydrating your under eyes while providing a great coverage. This is $46, and I have these in two shades. I have the shade 1W and 2W, and currently 2W would be more up my alley of what I use since I am more tan, as I have said throughout this video. So yeah, these are amazing. I feel like if you told me to pick between this and the Too Faced one, I might choose this. And that is saying a lot considering Too Faced or This Way Concealer is my number one. I think this is replacing the spot for number one, not gonna lie. So yeah, you guys, this is amazing. If you have not checked these out, check them out. I know they're pricey, but these are worth it. So, so, so worth it. So yeah, check these out. <laughs> Okay friends, so that is the end of my video. My camera keeps saying that it is overheating and I am not sure why, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get cut off uh, in a few minutes. So maybe it's good to wrap this video up right now. I also want to say that I apologize if everything in this video seemed like it was high-end except that one She Glam product, which definitely was the case. Everything was high-end and I apologize, you guys know I'm not saying that you should go spend $60 on all these products. I'm just recommending what I've been loving. And I can definitely do a video um, showing my more affordable favorites. These are just what I have been currently loving and they have um, coincidentally appeared to be high-end. I didn't even notice that until right now. Um, obviously, I did not do that on purpose. You guys know I am a drugstore queen. I love inexpensive products and I love finding a dupe. So... We are definitely going to be doing more of that. You guys know I love affordable makeup. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited to be back and please look forward to more videos coming up very, very soon. Thank you so much for all the support I've been getting. I am so excited to see this channel grow. I do want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support you've given me. Um, I'm honestly shocked too sometimes when I see the amount of views I get. So that warms my heart. Thank you so much. So yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed once again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!